The Southern Rhone, as I mentioned earlier, it doesn't have quite as many steep slopes as the Northern Rhone. Um, it does have something though that the Northern Rhone doesn't have, and that's these really big, thick, stony soils. Um, we can call those so those stones pudding stones. There's a few different names for them, but that's what I like to call them. Um, they're really big, um, like the size of, I don't know, what would you say a size of? I'd say size of a shoe, like a man's shoe, sometimes that big. Um, and th what's great about them, you've got these mistrals, so you get this cool region, this cool mass coming over top. And the, vine, the uh, stones will actually heat up and they will help ripen the grapes. So it's very important. And it's a natural occurrence, these stones, they just, luck of the draw, they happen to have these great stones that help with the cool climate. So this is a Mediterranean climate because of their influence by, of course, the Mediterranean Sea, mild winters with warm, dry summers. Um, drought, however, can be an issue. Um, so we're here in Napa and we have a Mediterranean climate here. So this very much describes um, what we experience and why we're always in a drought as well. Um, because of lack of slopes, uh, they don't have a lot of protection from the mistral. So they do plant a lot of cypress trees and different kinds of trees for winter windbreaks. Um, and they also plant the vines in what's called a bush planting method. So in other words, not trellised like you might see in another wine region where the vines go straight up and down, where they trellis the branches between um, the shoots between wires. Here, they're going to let it grow kind of like an umbrella, just naturally. And they're going to crop it close to the ground. So you're going to have those pudding stones that are going to be radiating that heat and you're, you're, tr you're training your vine so that it's growing closer to the ground so that it's able to soak up all that beautiful heat. Okay. And then in this region, as I mentioned, we divide this between regional and village. So the light blue is the, is the regional and the dark blue is the village. So uh, the most widely planted grape in the Southern Rhone is, uh, um, is, of course, dominated by red grapes and Grenache is the number one grape planted there. Um, concentrated, spicy, red fruit flavors, um, you know, if this is to me, I, Grenache is always a, a conundrum because it has, it's red fruit. And I think of when I think of red fruit, normally I think of like a Pinot Noir, but it has sort of the opposite things of Pinot Noir. So uh, concentrated spicy red fruit, warm summers will aid in that ripening. If you have a hot vintage, you can get really jammy and baked. Um, when it's blended, it will add increased alcohol and body. So this is a high alcohol, full bodied lower acidity. Um, it's also softer in tannin, so that'll kind of soften a wine, um, and it's going to add that red fruit and spice. Okay, when I think of high alcohol, high body, I tend to think of dark red fruit, but this is that opposite. So for if you're learning WSET, make sure you know this is a bit of an outlier when it comes to that sort of logical thinking that we like to have you guys think about. And then there's two, three grapes, actually. I'm sorry, I only have pictures of uh, two of them. Uh, well, with the Syrah you saw earlier. So there's three grapes that play a major supporting role, which would be Syrah, Mavedra, and Sinso. And the Syrah, as we mentioned, it struggles to ripen. It needs warm sites. Um, it adds color, tannin, black fruit, and spice. So you can see right there that's the opposite, you know, of what, uh, it, what, the uh, Grenache is going to add. So now we got black fruit coming in um, and color. Now the Maved, that thrives, you know, really thrives here in the Northern Rhone and it really gives deep color and high tannin. Here's some more of that black fruit. And this is where some of that meaty, gamey characteristic comes in. And then Sinso also contributes to that red fruit, but does not add tannin or color. And that gives it a fresh, sort of fruity, lively uh, nose when blended with Grenache.